Hello. In this program, we will see how to plot some basic continuous time signals on octave. Okay. So we are we are going to plot unit impulse signal approximately. Okay. Since uh, we cannot generate it exactly because its amplitude is very high at uh, t equal to zero. Okay. Then unit step signal, ramp signal, exponential and sinusoidal signal okay and one more thing we are going to plot these signals for a limited time interval okay because we cannot plot it from minus infinity to plus infinity on computer so we will take a finite time interval which is t equal to from minus 5 to plus 5 with an interval 0 0.01 in this program okay so here is the code now here is the definition of definition of impulse okay i have defined it like this uh, what it is going uh, how it will generate an impulse is it will compare this t vector which is this with zero okay and when this condition is true the output will be one otherwise it will be zero okay then similarly this is for u of t this is for rt ram signal which is t into ut then exponential signal and then sinusoidal signal okay here frequency is 5 hertz okay so this is the definition of the signals and following code will plot these signals okay so I have used subplot since there are five plots. I have divided the figure into five rows and one column. Okay, then the first plot is an impulse. Okay, then this X label, Y label, title. Okay, this uh, so this is for impulse and similarly for unit step, then RAM. Then exponential and then sinusoidal signal. Okay, so I have already saved this program named basic signals. Okay, then when you will run it, you can run it by clicking here. Okay, so when we will run it, we will get an output like this. So this is the output of the given program. You can see that this is the plot of unit impulse signal which is zero everywhere except t equal to zero. And this is unit step which is zero for t less than zero and one for t greater than equal to zero. Then third one is unit ramp which is zero for t less than zero and it is linearly growing after t equal to zero. Here we have taken slope one okay then this is the growing exponential okay and the last one is sinusoidal signal cos 2 pi ft where f is 5 hertz okay so this is the code okay you can try it yourself Now you can run this on Octave or you can try this on MATLAB, al MATLAB also because uh, the syntax of Octave is very similar to MATLAB. Okay. So we stop here.